Hey there everybody, we're just out here relaxing on our back porch. Uh, we just recently purchased a Cyclone 4007, it's a 2020. 007. Uh, 007. Uh, so we want to take you on a tour of it today. Uh, this was our very, this is our very first day after our first night of spending the night in our beautiful new home on wheels. So thanks for joining us and uh, we're going to take you on a tour right now. yesterday it was very muddy from the rain that happened all day yesterday so there's some mud been tracked through for the most part it's like no here's cosmo he's greeting us this is, back, cosmo. Cosmo. he's a good boy this is cosmo's house this is his new house and he loves to go camping so this is our living area um all of these seats have little recliners so you can recline get up here buddy Cosmo loves it. He loves being out here camping. So we've got the big couch, a booth dinette, tons of storage, a um, sound bar, a giant TV, which I'm kind of glad we can't figure out how to work the TV today because I'm camping. I don't want to watch TV. So this was one of the big sale uh, selling points was this awesome kitchen because I can cook here just like I can at home. Tons of storage, this really deep sink. And what I like most about it is I can fill it with dirty dishes and cover them up and not have to worry about um, it looking all messy in here. Um, this is a little hole for our trash. So smart idea. The trash goes down here and then whoever's taking the trash out can get it from right by the door. So. And there's enough room down there to store like your extra trash bags. So I feel like they really thought of everything. So there's tons of drawer storage, tons of cabinet storage in here. Um, the blackout shades on every window. And we brought our coffee maker from home. But this came, of course, with the microwave. And uh, there's a little light under the microwave too. Got all kinds oven, of lights in here too probably has not ever been used and then a three burner range which is great because if you're going to be cooking for a crowd you need more than the two little burners that a lot of these have um the fridge and freezer is huge and they run on both the propane and electric so plenty of room um if this is something that you're looking at and you want to know about the freezer though you just have to keep in mind the freezer is two sides so the freezer doesn't go straight across like the refrigerator does but there's not a lot of times that you need that whole long space in a freezer anyway so this is the living area but i'll show you the additional living hey, area buddy. cosmo let's go come on show us your porch buddy come on. i like this too here it's got uh, bluetooth speakers Nice TV, lots of cabinet space too. So, on, all right, where are we at now? So this is where Cosmo likes to hang out. This is the garage toy hauler. These fold out into a bed and then there's another queen size bed that comes down. So this could be two queen bunk beds or we can put a table right here and use this like a dinette mm -hmm. or we could put a desk in here and use it as an office. I mean, we have a lot of plans for this space. Up here is giant storage. I think we're gonna be so I got all my stuffing toys, stuffing <laughs> guitars and stuff up yep. there. Another TV, more cabinet storage, another radio. And we should mention too that up here we're using this for storage, but if you've got kids, you could put a kid oh, up sure. there really easy. You so. could put a couple. Yeah. So this is cool the way this works. This wall comes out. If you have a really big toy, you want to put these bench seats all the way up and drive in like a side-by-side -side or a Polaris. You can expand this area. Cosmo, get out of the bathroom. <laughs> so here's that little extra half bath, which is why we have two black tanks and the two hoses. Mm -hmm. 
we do have door access here. I like how you hung this up here. That's cool. But we're gonna we're gonna use this door. These doors are so rad. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yep. So we can do screen, all glass, all screen, half and half. Or just let that breeze blow through. And it's a beautiful is the sweet day today. Texas, too. that there's no bugs yet. Cosmo, Cosmo what do you think of this place? You like being in the movies, don't you? Cosmo, do you like camping? Are you going camping? Is this Cosmo's camper? <laughs> he really likes it. Yes, he does. He's a good travel dog. So what's cool about this toy hauler too is that you've got hooks on the bottom here. So if you're hooking in a motorcycle or an ATV. Yeah, we roll this uh, rug up. Roll that up. You can also turn this into an office, uh, which is really cool. There's lots of room in there. Lots yeah. of uh, windows and- A door so you can mm -hmm. shut it off. So if you did have guests staying in here and you had this made up like beds, they would have right. their own private restroom. They would have their own private space or own in and out. So they would feel like they're, you know, that they have their own space. Yep. And they can close the door off. If you needed to hang something up there for more, even more privacy, you can. All right. So we bought the RV from our friend who's a veteran. And so my first thing to put in here as a decoration was absolutely pillow because we really do thank all of our armed services and veterans for their service absolutely so up here last thing from the kitchen well there's this really cool window it lets tons of light in i like the variety of shades on the windows so here is a giant pantry i mean we brought a cooler a and a box and two bags of food and it still hasn't even filled it up yet so tons of space and then here's the bedroom but i'll open this way and i'll meet you around in the bathroom okay and just close this door okay, yeah. there's our bathroom which it's got a pretty decent amount of room yeah we've got good cabinet space in here especially cabinet with the, space in here. the um the doors being able to both be open this one mm -hmm. is a pocket door <laughs> Lots of light coming through the vent fan and the skylight in the bathroom. So it's really good for doing my makeup and mm -hmm. my hair in the morning. Mm -hmm. So a huge countertop space in here. Lots, lots of, of lots of light. Lots of drawers. Lots of drawers. Again, a window that you can adjust the, the shades so on. The bed was amazing to sleep in last night. Mm -hmm. There's a window on each side, so there's lots of crosswinds, plus the window, the big window out in front of us. Um, very, very comfortable king-size bed, so room, room for, for us all three of us. Cosmo. He's a big baby and he sleeps mm -hmm. in bed with us, so we have to think of that. We got lots of closet space over here too. Yes, tons of closets. Clothes. It actually goes back pretty far. And then um, our friend left a couple of shelves in here. Mm -hmm. to stack shoes this closet actually is for it's already set up for a washer and dryer and then this is our creative engineering for our fan for last there's night there's a tv back here, and here i'll that. show you how this comes out this tv just slides out right mm -hmm. here so if we wanted to lay in bed and watch tv there we go yep <laughs> Cosmo, you like that bed, don't you? He's a good boy. So we've got tons of room in here. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is the three um, AC units. So we have mm -hmm. one back here just for the bedroom. If we get hot and while we're sleeping and we just want to cool the space, we can. And then there's one for the living room and one for the toy hauler. So here's our thermostat. Um, so some of the things that I think that people like us would be thinking about when you're looking for a toy hauler or if you're looking for a travel trailer and you're going to be traveling with your dog, something that we think of is where are we going to feed our dog? So we found this space is the perfect spot to put his food and water. We'll get him a, like a little rug or mat because he does have a little messy habit. Sometimes he drips. But that way he feels like he's in the same eating space as us and it doesn't upset his appetite or his routine. Um, 
some other things are the cleanup. So like if I had my broom, I could show you, we can sweep, sweep, sweep. And then right here, when we pick that up, just sweep that dust down in there and it goes under the trailer in the central va vacuum, or we can hook up our central vacuum hose and, and sweep that way as well. So that will help with dusting when it's time to start dusting. When you're camping, just keep this in mind. This looks beautiful, it's brand new, it's just been cleaned and detailed or whatever, but you're going camping, you're gonna get dusty, you're gonna get dirty, it's a toy hauler, there's gonna be mud, your dog's probably gonna walk through muddy puddles, your kids are gonna be out there playing with tadpoles and making messes. So everything is basically wiped down clean, uh, pretty basic and easy to take care of. This is a hard surface counter. So all the counters are hard surface, like a Corian, uh, a light. They're a little lighter than um, heavy granite would be. Um, some other things that I really love are all the lights. I don't know if we'll be able to see them with the... Yeah. Uh, we'll have to do a nighttime view too. Yeah. Here and then here's bit. our fan and our vent up here. There's a cool light under the cabinet or under the counter here. I like to leave that on at night for a little glow. All kinds of lights. This lights up. Lights up here. Lights everywhere. Here's a couple more lights over here. If you want lights, you got them. What, you what you got going on there? I'm making some mushrooms, toasting a bagel mm -hmm. in my skillet, and then up here, Got uh, bacon and eggs. I've made some potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, about yeah. to make some pancakes. So we thought. Hey friends, thanks for tuning in and uh, going through the walkthrough with us on our home on wheels. What do you think about it? I like it. I think it's amazing. It's very luxurious. It feels very high end, and all the fixtures and the furnishings are exactly what I would want in our home. <clears throat> so it's kind of amazing that we can have this in a travel trailer. It's and we nice. did, you know, we exactly about a year ago, uh, this time a year ago, we were looking at, actually we were sitting on the back porch of a, a Grand, Grand Design, Design. Mm -hmm. fifth wheel, just similar floor plan as, as our Heartland Cyclone talking about how we really need to do this that was about a year ago yeah. and here we are yeah so. because we didn't just talk about it we made a plan and we made some goals and then i mean we had to make the goals and then make the plan on how are we gonna reach those goals and one of them was to sell our house and get out of debt and so we did that and then once we did that we knew that we would be able to make this next step and buy a house that we own. We own this house outright. And it's on wheels. Cash. It's crazy. Yep. We can go wherever we want. Yeah, we can <laughs> anywhere in the world is our front yeah. yard. Well yeah. thanks for thanks for hanging out with us. See and you next time. Did oh, you like did you what? like your tacos? Oh, and the tacos were yeah. great. Pretty good taco yeah. time. Food's tonight. really good here. <laughs> yeah. See I you love guys. That kitchen. <laughs> Bye. Bye.